boosters in ignition, and liftoff of Artemis 1. 2022 saw the first moonshot from Cape Canaveral in 50 years, rekindling the sense of awe from the original space race. But the United States is no longer going solo. We rise together back to the moon and beyond. NASA has partners, Canada and Europe. Artemis 1 just a prelude to what's coming. Canadian technology will help build the first lunar space station. And on the next Artemis flight in two years, history will be made. One of these four Canadian astronauts will fly around the moon. Canada will be the second country in the world to go into deep space, right? That flight will go out for, again, an extended mission, circling around the moon, testing out all kinds of systems. If there's international cooperation that didn't exist half a century ago, there's also fierce competition now on the lunar playing field. China sent crews to its brand new orbiting space station this year. And China will partner with the Russians to put their own lunar base on the moon in a few years. South Korea launched its first lunar orbiter in August. And how's this for international diversity? Carrying the iSpace Series 1 lunar lander. An American SpaceX rocket transporting a Japanese lunar lander that's carrying a United Arab Emirates lunar rover. The first Arab moon rover, says the director of the UAE space program, carrying the hopes of the Arab world in space discovery. No fewer than 10 countries have now conducted moon missions, plus private industry has begun testing lunar technologies. It's a great day for all of our international partners. That's a difference from 50 years ago. It is the beginning of the new beginning, and that is to explore the heavens. 2022 also marks the beginning of exploring the entire universe, thanks to the most far-reaching technology in history. The James Webb Space Telescope rocketed far beyond the moon, unfolding its sun shield, its mirrors, and its infrared cameras. Here, too, Canadians are crucial players, developing equipment to study the atmosphere of distant planets and pinpoint the earliest stars. Being able to look that far back and be able to find those signatures of, the, of elements that were created when the universe was so young, I mean, that's just really mind-blowing. From its perch, one and a half million kilometers from Earth, the James Webb Space Telescope has opened our eyes. Webb is looking deeper into space than ever before, seeing light from more than 13 billion years ago, not long after the Big Bang, when the very first stars were formed. And look what it found. In a sliver of darkness in the night sky, Webb discovered galaxies teeming with stars. This deep field image shows the most distant, faintest objects ever observed. Stefan's Quintet, five galaxies, each possibly with billions of stars. A nebula where a star is dying. The cosmic cliffs where stars are being born. Honestly, it took me a while to even figure out what to call out in this image. There's just so much going on here. Several times in the last six months, I nearly break my jaw of what I saw. These incredible images, it's a cliche, but it's true. We're turning the page on several new chapters on um, exoplanet, atmosphere, the early universe, star formation, you name it. And we don't even know what we're going to find. Webb brings us closer to knowing how the universe began and whether there is life on other planets far away. This is going to be revolutionary. These are incredible capabilities that we've never had before. Space exploration is expanding our awareness of this planet's precarious place in the cosmos. Satellites are telling us more each year about the atmosphere and climate change. A breakthrough came in nuclear fusion. The energy that powers the sun may one day sustain a cleaner planet. If we had fusion, we could drop fossil fuels immediately and forever. Just remember, fusion power has no nuclear waste to speak of, no meltdowns to worry about. Protecting the planet saw the debut of a powerful but simple innovation against intergalactic threats. Oh my goodness! This yeah. fall, a rocket just slammed into a tiny asteroid, Dimorphos, deflecting its orbit sending a million kilograms of debris trailing behind. For the first time ever, humanity has changed the orbit of a planetary body. And for the first time ever, planetary defense didn't sound like a job description from a Hollywood script. Should all Earthlings sleep a little easier tonight? As far as we can tell, our first planetary defense test was a success. Yeah, I think the Earthlings should sleep better. Definitely, I will. In 2022, humans reached for the moon and searched the distant corners of the universe. And it seems the more we look out, the more reason we have to look back at the Earth. 
Eric Sorensen, Global News.